back with another confessional. This time I'm gonna speak about one of these one of these drunk nights from way, way back in the day. Long, 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 long time ago. Long time ago. Long time ago. So B Rip. Twenty. Mm, it's between that dark liquor stage I had. So anywhere from 2017 to 2019. Anywhere in that realm, right? I'm out. It's, 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 it turns into one of them boys' night outs. Like, all of good vibes is out. We in B-Rib. We just having a good time. But everybody knows T-Rose don't drink. <laughs> but this was, one of my, this was during my drinking day. So, you know, I'm down for the get down, down to get lit. But I'm definitely going to have me a one or two in store. So, we out. We out in B-Rib or whatever. And niggas decide to go to the red room, right? Now, the Red Room, I ain't never been. This was my first time. So it's, it's just like a little club, ambiance kind of area or whatever. Uh, they have a little dance floor. They got two rooms. Uh, it's basically one big square bar cut in half. One bar's on one side, the bar's on the other side. And we in there, we just chilling. And tonight, the DJ is kind of snapping with the, with the music, like his library going crazy. So after a few drinks, uh, the nigga decides to cut on Michael Jackson. You know me, I got drinks in me now, so it's lit. And they say, you know, I'm in the, I'm in the middle of the dance floor doing the fucking routine to beat it. And niggas have never seen me bust a move more than that that night. So everybody was like, oh shit. And yeah, it was, it was crazy. Like Malcolm was two stepping. I ain't never seen that nigga dance. Everybody, it was, a, it was a lit night. That was one of the wild nights for me. I, I probably haven't danced since. No. Fifth year anniversary pod. That's probably the most recent time I got started dancing. But yeah, that was my confession of that drunk ass night. I was lit. 